All right, thanks so much, Michelle from Good Day Stateline, joining us this morning. We have some Shark Week news for you for the uh, littlest ones out there. Kids. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, right now it's Shark Week on the Discovery I did Show. not know that, but thank you. Well, in case you didn't know, it's Shark Week. I always feel silly talking about it because I'm so afraid of it that I can't watch it, but I just know yeah. that so many people, people love it. Do I didn't know love it. Week, so, yeah, it did start on Monday. Thankfully, it's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Does it feel like that for I you, too? It is only Tuesday. <laughs> so, we have so many days left of real Shark Week on the Discovery Center, but the cool thing is, we also have Baby Shark Week, All right. which is new this year. Um, the regular Shark Week has actually been around for 32 years. And this is the first year that Baby Shark Week is happening. So it's happening on Nickelodeon and then on, on Nick Jr., obviously. Um, so it's very cool. Not only are they giving us like little videos of Baby Shark and family, so <laughs> yes. new ones. So sure. just for this week, um, like little, you know, the short ones that are just a couple minutes long. So kids yeah. love those because they yeah. can pay attention to the whole story. But then there's also going to be um, water themed episodes of all these other great Nick Jr. shows that are going to okay. be shown. So that's happening all this week from 7 a.m. until noon every single day on um, Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. I think Shark Week is 24 hours a day on Discovery Channel. Again, I am afraid of it, so I do not people, know the details. I mean, there, and that's why, forgive me if you are a big Shark Week <laughs> lover, because, but people are, are very yes. into it. They have parties. and I mean, obviously different probably with COVID now. They but have virtual parties, parties, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I have a friend who loves a Shark Week, so she's probably like glued to the TV, but she also has three kids under the age of six, so they're there probably go. watching Baby yeah, Shark Week yeah, a little bit. as well. You know, we have a Baby Shark in our house still goes. Uh, that's uh, probably one of his first songs that he was Singing, uh, yeah. but, you know, I'm like, okay, we're done. We unplugged the Alexa. Okay, I actually, when I was thinking about this story yesterday, when I found it, I was like, oh, we, we thought we'd get through the pandemic without the return of Baby Shark. I know. It's no, back, and can't. it's back it's in a lot of forms, too, so get, re get ready to hear it. I know, but I do think that's a fun idea that they're doing that, and, you know, of course it makes sense. That's, like, yeah. the most popular shark of all is Baby Shark. Yes. Do you even know any other shark's name aside from Baby Shark? <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> that's, that's probably another shark's name. That's right. another one, too. Thanks, Michelle. It's uh, 7.51 right now. I want to go to our Morning Mud Club question of the day, and this is, uh, you know, big with everything that happened. What is your severe weather plan? A lot of you guys plan this. Uh, maybe you have one now after what happened last night. I was saying earlier, you know, I am not a fan of storms. If I see the warnings coming in, I always run to the basement because we know how fast the damage right. can come. I've been out there after tornadoes have hit, and they've said, oh, it was 30 seconds, and so we always go right well, away. Well, we're so lucky, too. Not only do we have Joey, storm chaser, but right. Candace, you know, I, I told you I was taking a nap, and I was woken up by the winds outside yeah. my apartment, and then immediately just went to Facebook, and uh, she was also on TV, and she's just so, like, calm and informative, she and she I tells know. you exactly all the times, which is so important, because it really is, depending yes. on where you are, yeah. you know, it matters. So thankful to our weather team yes. who can so do we that love our for weather us. team. I said I was grateful because because I, I do not have internet in the basement. Yeah. For some reason, it goes in and out. It's the worst time when you're, you know, where we were in the basement. But um, Chaz actually took the baby monitor, took the camera, <laughs> turned it outside, so brought the on. baby monitor down. He's like, here, so we know what's going on. So we're sitting down there with the baby monitor on. Um, Whatever, but however you can keep track I of what's know. going on. But. Yeah, I got to see what's going on. But yeah, so let us know your severe weather plan, whatever it may be. And of course, we're going to check back in uh, with my co-anchor, Elliot Grandy, has been live in Forsen. You've been seeing some of those pictures coming mm -hmm. in. Uh, just devastation there. So five people in and of course we're going to see what their condition is also speaking with ComEd Live it's going to be about 8 10 this morning so stick with us if you are waiting to get back to your house waiting to get your food back into your freezer Absolutely. going to help you out with that it's all next